Check out lines. Who needs them? Coalition of Biometrics Research Sites. The Center for Identification Technology Research, or CIDR as the coalition is known, is an example of the important role that public and private funding can play in the innovation process. The National Science Foundation does offer seed funding, uh, but that is uh, uh, augmented with the funding from these corporations and government agencies. The primary advantage of a biometric trait is that it belongs to that individual. Uh, you are implicitly connected to it. The primary advantage of a biometric trait is that it belongs to that individual. Uh, you are implicitly connected to it. Unlike passwords uh, or, or tokens or, or passports which are external. Because Esau, he wants your soul. The so-called white man don't have to put a chip in you just to make you pledge your allegiance to him. Right. He already is doing that and you don't even know it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a mark where I'm going to inject the transponder and that mark should be a couple millimeters 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 once the needle has made its way back to the central mark, to the central mark, to the central mark, to the central mark, I'm going to go just a little bit deeper in order to create a pocket parallel to the metacarpal bone for the transponder to sit in. I back the needle out just a few millimeters and then start depressing the plunger in order to push the tag out into the spot where I want it to sit. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom also peace to the elect. Peace to the elect the nation of the nation of Israel scattered abroad. You know how no how many no matter how many times we tell Jake what the mark of the beast is, the most high just use us like robots <laughs> to keep pushing and keep pushing. Cause some of you, you know, what we used to say back in the day have thick skulls, man. And you just won't get it. You just can't see it. And that's because the, the, the most high blinded you, blinded you from seeing it. Now, it's it's easy to see. These guys, Adam Abbott, well, I remember the old clip. They said, you don't need a marker to be, you don't need a chip to make anyone sell out. Well, look, it's easy, uh, okay, uh, to take money uh, because you had some people say the market of beast is cash. I, I don't know. It's just crazy. But it's easy to just go around about your day doling, doling around and, and get your food, your, your SNAP, EBT, food stamps, you know, your all your, you know, your things that you get, you know, from the grocery store, your food, your condiments. It's easy to do that. So how do you sell out? You sell out by being tagged. It's about enslaving the whole world. Now you cannot buy, sell, or save. You can't do nothing. You, you no longer are in control of your money. And there's this guy in the clip, that uh, in the intro, who said this uh, uh, foreign-looking guy, the, the um, so-called Middle Eastern guy, whatever he is. I don't know if he's Ishmael or whatever he is. But he said that it doesn't matter. Because he, what he says is that identification belongs to you, 
in biometrics, which means life measures. Bio is life measures. Okay, your measures of your um, your eyes, your hands, and this is what they're doing in Amazon. Okay, and by the way, this video was inspired, okay, by the brother Elder Yasha Wamba. I don't know if I mentioned that, but he said, okay, that this was your, your identification. What you don't understand is your identification is tagged in a database, which makes it the elite's identification. That's what it is. So how do you not be able to, how is, uh, um, not taking the mic, uh, you know, the, the mark of the beast not being a chip. How do you buy, sell, or save without money, without the chip? You know, they say it's not physical. So how is it that no man might buy, sell, or save unless he had the mark? So how do you make that, you know, not physical? Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it, all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that's why i went in and rolled that clip a mark it's not the same mark as a, as a person named mark okay like in the scriptures or mark like a, a spiritual mark this is a physical mark and that no man might buy sell or save buy or sell save he that had the mark, okay, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, how is that not physical? How are you going to make something so-called spiritual out of that? So, if nobody was able, if, if these elites, what, what Adam Abbott is saying is that they don't need a chip to make you sell out. Well, how do you sell out? You got your money. You got your card. They need to tag the whole world. So how the heck, how the hell you, you cannot sell out fully as a world if, you, uh, if you're in control of your own money. It has to be under some form of authority in order for you to sell out, okay? Somebody has to be controlling that on, on high levels. Tagging you would make you a full slave, Anyway, let's go to this article. Okay, it says this week in credit, this week in credit card news, paying with your hand will will the new FICO system hurt or help your credit score? Okay, will the new FICO system help or what does the FICO, which FICO deals with your credit, your Experian, TransUnion, Equifax? Those three scores determine um, your your credibility in um, the financial world, so to speak. Or what bank will trust you, what bank won't. Okay? I've had history of that, knowing about that. Okay, it's, uh, I had to look this up. Uh, FICO means Fair, Fair Isaac Corporation. So what they're telling you is if you... Except this Amazon hand wave. I, I read pretty much the whole article. Most of it. They're, what they're getting ready to do is put you in a crunch. So through this pandemic, this is the perfect time uh, to release this virus. I mean, whatever it is, you know, it's they're, they're hyping it up. But this is the perfect time to say, well, well remember, they're the CDC, they, you know. They control a lot of that stuff. And they control the media. So they they are able to determine, you know, back you into the corner and push it the way they want it to go. Remember, Job 9.24 says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So this is, what better way is to release, all of a sudden you're in a pandemic and they're releasing this technology. And what they're saying is it's the concern of touching plastic. Well, people was ordering online. I've ordered Amazon things online. Sit it at the door. That's what it is. But what way of convenience to all of a sudden, and if you notice stores are doing away with cash, what way of convenience? Anyway, Amazon wants to make your hand your credit card. The tech giant is creating 
checkout terminals, which we've seen this already in your regular grocery store. There's no cashiers. There's like more checkout terminals than there are cashiers. Why? Anyway, checkout terminals that could be placed in bricks and mortar stores and allow shoppers to link their card information to their hand, to their hands. Okay, so we can see that this thing is constantly talking about the hand. Buying and purchasing with your hand. They're putting it right in your face. And you Israelites are still saying, no, it's not the mark of the beast. Anyway, just as that IBM commercial I, I used in the beginning, which brothers have probably seen that, that's old. That was like 10 years old, you know? But they're showing it. And allow shoppers to link their card information to their hands. They just, I, I didn't seen the word hand in here like three, four times already. I haven't even got to the middle of the article. Why are they, why are they doing that? Well, we could see why they promoted feminism, dumbing you down, uh, emasculation, and everything else. It's real easy. It's real easy the way things are set up now. The sheeple will follow. It's simple now. They could full-fledged bring this thing out and if people line up. You would have a lot of rebellion. But I'm talking about the sheeple in the inner city hoods that don't care. It says they could then pay for their purchases with their palms without having to pull out a card or phone. What, what, is this society that damn lazy? Look, it went from the cash, the fake cash anyway. But anyway, it went from the money, the, what you call the money. Then they all of a sudden went to the digital. So how do you know what you're worth? Everything's zeros and ones. How do you actually know what you're worth? That tells you the, nothing, none of this is real. The U.S. The, the U.S. debt is is uh out of the roof, which they setting that up to. You got to think about it. If it's trillions of dollars in debt, how long do you go and continue to get uh, loans on a particular item or or um, items, and you constantly trillions of dollars in debt? That's like me being twenty thousand dollars in debt, and I keep going to the the people who offer me the loan and they just keep giving me the money and, and keep running it up. When does it, when is enough it, enough? When does it stop? That tells you it's all, it's all fake, man. You know, it's all fake. That'll be the excuse to crash it. And right now we have an inflated economy. We have a pandemic, right? And these are the things, all the things you need. To do away, uh, to do away with physical cash, bring in digital currency, and the next step would be to crash the dollar. We could see it playing out. They could then pay for their purchases with their palms without having to pull out a card or phone. The company plans to pitch the terminals to coffee shops, fast food restaurants, and other merchants that do lots of repeat business with their customers. See, the Amazon is not the only one doing this, by the way. There's a lot of places, Amazon is just a, another sponsored company off of other companies that Amazon just took on uh, out of that, that line of the tech world, so to speak, and they're doing it, okay? There's a lot of people didn't know. This technology been out. Amazon, like other tech companies, see that? Like other tech companies is trying to further integrate itself into consumer financial lives, Leaving bank cards and network networks on edge. The wall, you know, this says the Wall Street Journal. So, I mean, it's a little bit more than that, but they are really, they are really planning on crashing this economy. Let me get a little. It wouldn't be right if I didn't go to the FICO part. I'm gonna read this a little quick. Americans who are struggling to pay off their debt could see lower FICO credit scores in their future. Right? Because that means their credit score is going to drop. They're going to put that pinch on you. Right? This is what's coming. And when that pinch comes on you, you know what's next. You get that chip. Because you got to know that with your palm, there's going to be all kinds of discrepancies with that as well. You know that's not going to work out too well. There's going to be a lot of identity theft. You know? People claiming to be this person or that person. 
They're gonna it's gonna be some glitches in the system, and they ultimately gonna bring that chip in. Especially if they miss payments. The FICO 10 uh 10 model will start start incorporating consumers' debt levels into their scoring model. FICO estimates that about 110 million consumers will see a change of less than 20 points to their score under the new credit score model, right? Over roughly 80 million consumers will see a change in their scores of 20 or more points in either direction. What are they telling you? Upward or downward is, is basically the FICO says. It basically says, they're basically saying, which way do you want to go? We can help you with your credit score go up or your credit score could go down. Okay? Those who fall behind on their loan payments are more likely to see the drop in their score. See, this is why they give you everything. This is why you're eating deliciously. This is why you're in Babylon. A lot of you women, you're living good. You got your careers. You got your jobs. Are you going to be willing to give that up? A lot of you, I doubt it. And that's what it's going to boil down to. Nobody gets nothing for free. The scripture says a gift destroys the heart. Nothing's for free. Ain't nothing here good, man. This place was built on bloodshed. Okay? And when this thing go down, man, you know, you, Jake's are going to have to figure it out the hard way. So I don't know at this point if any of you Israelites are saying this, the mark of the beast is uh, spiritual and not physical. You're out of your mind. And if that's the case, well, what the hell is this then? If you're saying the mark of the beast is not the microchip, what are you saying? What you're saying is it's not the mark of the beast. Because if it's not the micro microchip, it's not the mark of the beast. And if it's not the mark of the beast, you're telling people to accept it. That's all I have on that, Shalom.